Have you ever wished you could just describe what's in your head and what should come to life as an image? With text to image AI, it's that easy. Hey everyone, this is Mia with Design. In today's episode of Design with AI 101, I'll show you how to use Design's AI text to image tool to create eye catching results. Along the way, you'll learn tips and tricks from writing perfect prompts to achieve the best outcomes in your AI art. So if you haven't already, click the link below, log into Design AI and let's dive in. A few years ago, turning text into beautiful images seemed like pure magic. On Design AI, it's super simple. Let's open a new project. Head to text to image tool. Pick a style. Type what you want to see in the prompt box. Adjust the aspect ratio and other parameters and hit generate. Instantly, your images appear in the result panel, ready to be downloaded or tweaked. See how easy it is? Even with no fancy adjustments, these results are already pretty impressive. But to make the most out of it, let's explore some techniques and advanced features to give you more control and style of your images. First, let's talk about what makes a good prompt. First is intention. Start by knowing what you're using the image for and what you want your audience to feel. Are you aiming for something calming, exciting, or mysterious? Having a clear intention will guide the rest of your prompt and make your vision more precise. Clearly indicate the subject and describe its appearance. Don't just say a dog, say a playful corgi with a red collar. The more specific you are, the clearer the AI's vision will be. Action and scene. Describe what's happening and where. Is a corgi chasing a ball on the sunny beach or lounging under autumn trees by a stream? Define the style, lighting, and mood you're aiming for. Should the image be realistic, cartoonish, or watercolor style? Use words like golden hour sunlight or soft moonlight glow to describe the lighting and set the desired mood. Specify the perspective if you have something particular in mind. Mention angles like eye level, bird's eye view, or low angle to create a more dynamic and cinematic feel. More detail is good, but too much can confuse the AI. We want to focus on what truly matters to our vision and keep it concise. This might feel like a lot to remember, but don't worry. Design offers tools that make this process easier. Let's head back to the text to image tool and put these tips into action. First, let's talk about the style button. This allows you to apply a specific pre-trained style to your creation. There are many styles to choose from, and Design has thoughtfully categorized them for easy selection. Click the info icon to view additional details and examples, and simply click to select it and it will be loaded to the panel. This time, I want to pick the Design Realistic style for the demonstration. This style will give you highly realistic detail rendering. The text prompt box is where you describe the scene you want to create. For example, let's try a beautiful woman in a flowing red dress with a bouquet of flowers, joyfully strolling on the street in Rome. Right below, you'll see the prompt improver. This feature can enhance your prompt it will add depth, detail, and creativity to your prompt. We will dive deeper about this later. Here we can also adjust the image aspect ratio by sliding the bar at the top or choosing popular dimensions below. In the advanced setting, there's an option to input a C number. This is useful if you generate an image you like and want to recreate it and make small adjustments. To find a C number of your previous creation on design, just go to the result panel, Click the info icon above the image and you'll see the C number. Just click send C number and you will send it to the current panel. We don't need it here, so I'll skip this. Once everything is set, we can click generate to create the image. The results will appear in the result panel in the center. And from here, we can click on any image to preview it and access additional options. They're incredibly realistic. And the lighting is very natural. Down here, we can create variations of this image, place on canvas, or download. On the smaller thumbnails, you can take action such as sharing to the public, adding it to your favorite, downloading, or placing them on the canvas. And any image sent to the canvas will appear in the layer panel. 
To see what's on the canvas, simply click out of the text to image panel. If you find an image you like and want to explore similar actions, we can simply click the variation button to generate related results. And the new results will appear as a new batch of images. You can further create variation of it or click the compare button to see how it compares with the original result. Let's talk about style preset. It's a real game changer for AI image creation. By selecting a preset, you can easily give your image a specific aesthetic with no need to worry about the right words. Using style preset also gives you more consistent and predictable results. To show you what I mean, we'll use the same text prompt and apply different styles. We'll use the prompt, a quirky dog in an astronaut suit floating in space with Earth and galaxies in the background. And just to make sure our text prompt says the same each time, we'll turn off the prompt improver. Now let's explore how the style transformed this image. For some styles, you can also adjust the style intensity. This controls how strongly the style is applied to the image. Here's a look at the result with the different styles applied. See how just by changing the style, you can create a vast range of images with one single prompt. Using a preset style really saves you from the headache of detailed prompts to get the look you are looking for. Let me know in the comments what style you like the most. Sometimes maybe your creativity is feeling a little sluggish, or maybe you just want to give your prompts a boost. That's where the prompt improver comes in handy. When you toggle it on, this feature is like having an AI brainstorming partner. It enhances your ideas, expands on them, adds details, and even enriches the style you've chosen. It helps you to create images that are not just visually appealing, but also full of depth and expression. Let's test it out with a simple prompt. Poster for a 2025 Bitcoin event. Let's select a portrait size for the poster. Let's try one with a prompt improver on and one without. These results without the prompt improver are definitely visually interesting. They have the Bitcoin logo incorporated, very cool designs. But does it really look like a poster for Bitcoin? And the overall look is a bit too playful for a financial event. But I'm also to blame because I really didn't give it as much details. Well, intentionally. On the other hand, with the prompt improver on, the poster design are far more thoughtful and tailored to the purpose of a Bitcoin event. They both feature a prominent title that follows best poster design practices. I also like the nice touch of the subheadline, Join the Future of Finance. The poster design is more thoughtful and tailored to the prompt. It reflects an understanding of the three key concepts poster, Bitcoin, and event in our original prompt, while also presenting them in a visually appealing and purposeful way. Basically, design has features that can take care of the heavy lifting for you. It expands on your ideas, refines them, and help you create awesome results effortlessly. So if you're ready to create your own designs, try it yourself with a link below and let us know how it goes. Give this video a like and subscribe if you found it helpful. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Happy creating!